Point me in. Good morning, Fort McMurray, Wood Buffalo, and the rest of the world. You've tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre, and we're going to start this episode off the same way we start every episode off, with a moment of gratitude. I know that you could be doing a million other things with your time, and the fact that you spend it with us truly does mean the world to me. So thank you. On that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. Oh, she caught me, loves. You're listening to the Max City Morning Show. And we are back. That was quick. That's a short intro. Yeah. Who do we have in that one? What you, as an ad? Yeah. We didn't. Oh, there we go. Well, we're going to um, give a big shout out to Noral Toyota, our title sponsor. Thank you very much for your ongoing support. We really do appreciate it. And sorry about the technical difficulties. There we go. Now, as you know, I don't introduce my guests because they can do a better job at that than myself. So can you please tell everybody at home who you are and what you're about? Hi, everybody. My name is Jane uh, Jaroge. I have lived in Fort McMurray for the last eight years. How many? Eight years. Okay. Okay. That's a long time. Eight years. Yeah. 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 This November. Okay. And I work with the YMCA of Northern Alberta. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what do you do for the YMCA here? I am the Foreign Workers Program Coordinator at the YMCA. Okay. And uh, we serve... Uh, foreign nationals who are eligible to work in Canada okay. under different programs, okay. like the Temporary Foreign Worker oh, Program, okay. Okay. the International Mobility Program, oh, okay. um, post-graduation work permit holders. Mm. We do serve Canadians, naturalized Canadian citizens, mm-hmm. and also we serve... <coughs> oh my God, um, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> That's what the water there is for. That's okay. Nope. Yeah. So all these people that you are <laughs> helping, do they reach out to you? Do you reach out to them? How do foreign workers in Fort McMurray find out about you? Uh, usually we have brochures so that mm-hmm. we we hand out like during events. We have a lot of, we, we participate in community events okay. a lot. Yeah. So when we participate in those events, we hand out like uh, brochures. Mostly, yeah. it's, again, it's word of mouth. Word of mouth, uh, okay. I think the YMC has a YMC, uh, has a Facebook page. Yes, you guys do, yeah. And I would say, like, for settlement services, really, um, I find that word of mouth works really well. That's right. And that's right. Yeah. So when people, because Fort McMurray, that's the one thing that has, like, I love about it. It's a melting pot of uh, cultures here. Um, I know when I was growing up, you had everybody from all different walks of life and the world here. Um, so the YMCA, when they're coming to you, what are the different communities or not communities, countries that you're seeing the most of now? Because like when I grew up in Fort McMurray, although it was multicultural, the numbers weren't really there. Like it was primarily East Coasters. But like as I've got older and the community has grown, you're seeing people from Venezuela, different con- different places in Africa, a lot of Filipinos now. What do you see is like a really big demographic that utilizes your service? I think because the YMCA <coughs> is an umbrella of many services, we mm-hmm. have different programs under the YMCA. Right. So we have settlement, immigrant settlement services. Yeah. We have uh, my program, which is the foreign workers program. Yeah. And speaking to my, pro- we have the employment link program. Yeah. So speaking to my program, the That's one right. that I, I, I oversee. Yeah is mainly because um, <coughs> I would say the biggest employers of uh, temporary foreign workers, really, they are coming from uh, the Philippines. Oh, okay. That's what I have seen yeah, yeah. in the demographic that we right. serve. Okay. Uh, I think most recently we have uh, uh, people from Asia, like uh, India. Mm-hmm. I've noticed that. A yeah. big influx of East Indians coming yes. into yeah. Fort McMurray and exactly. Canada. Yeah. Yeah. And also, like, because we also serve post-graduation work permit holders. Right. So that one is is mixed. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I can't say there's more of this and more of that. I think right. Yano would be the best that's right. place to okay. talk about that. Interesting. But yeah, that's what I have noticed. Okay. Um, now with yourself, why did you move to Fort McMurray? I moved to Fort McMurray for adventure. Adventure? And also for... Uh, out of curiosity, really, oh. mm-hmm. I had heard about Fort McMurray. Okay. 
and I was also looking for opportunities. Right. Like uh, one of the sold narrative out there is that there's a lot of employability here. Right. So, which is true. So, I mm. came here looking for greener pastures and okay. I found them. I think that <laughs> is probably one of my favorite answers to the question of why did you come to Fort McMurray? That's right. That's right. Like Me just, too. Like, straight up. Just, I don't know. I was curious. Yeah. Like, awesome. Going for an adventure. That is amazing. So, where were you living before you moved here? I am originally from Kenya. Okay. And East Africa. Okay. And I moved to Calgary. Okay. I, I, I lived in Calgary for seven months. Okay. I have family there. Mm-hmm. Then um, after seven months, mm-hmm. I worked in retail. Yeah. So I moved to Fort McMurray. I mm-hmm. ch- actually, I met somebody on t- by chance okay. in, in the mall. Okay. They told me they lived up here. Yeah. And I was curious. So they invited <laughs> me to come and I came. <laughs> That's and awesome. I've been here. I've been here for eight years. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, great story. Great story. So let's rewind it a little bit more, though. So you're in Kenya. And what about Canada? Like, why would you? Why did you feel you wanted to leave an, your home country to come all the way over to, to Canada? Uh, first of all, because my sister lives here. Okay. And she said all these wonderful things about Canada. Right. Yeah. Right. So okay. that was one of the driving. Okay. And how are you finding the cold? The temp- big temperature shift. Um. Yes and no. And mm-hmm. as I was talking to your colleague yeah. earlier on, is yeah. I find that because it's progressive, it's not something that hits you at once. Right. The body gets time to adjust to the cold. So. Right. Um. And again, looking at what we have, we have natural gas that hits houses and buildings. And right. These. These stuff in place mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. helps us to to cope right right and to go through the cold weather yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so, so it, you it's not you it's not bothering you that much then i think because it's expected i yeah. prepare my mind in <laughs> right. advance that's right yeah yeah there's yeah. some people that just never get used to it like my dad he dresses for it and he knows it's coming. Yeah. He's lived here since like 1977, 1976 and he's still like oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I can imagine. And you know yeah. what? Uh, I, 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 it's not something like I don't look forward to it that mm-hmm. much. But again, I, I know it's coming. It's That's coming right. and it has to come. That's so right. So you just got to deal with it. I just roll with it. So when you first moved here from Calgary and you, like you said, you were doing retail first, uh, were you looking for a retail job when you first came up here? What was the first like uh, company or organization that you first got your foot started with when you came to Fort McMurray? I did. Like, I worked, I think I worked at a gas station. Okay. Uh, in a convenience store. Yeah. And then I went into retail for about one and a half years. Then yeah. I went b- I went to school in Kiano. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what did you take at Kiano College? I studied social work. Oh, oh yes. okay. Yeah. Okay. Then nice. I got employed by the YMCA. There we go. Mm-hmm. That's great. That's the cool thing about Fort McMurray is, um, is actually Kiano College. Yes. It's such a good place to go and update skills to actually find employment in the community. It is. It's unbelievable. And it has like great programs that are like certificate programs that are one year or diploma programs for two years. Like that, that institute actually does dramatically help people from all around the world get a better foothold exactly. in Fort McMurray. Yes, I, I agree to that. And just being in a community that is not so large and I'm also able to, to access mm-hmm, mm-hmm. school, yeah. uh, the proximity. That's right. I mean, it's so good That's and right. convenient. Yeah. I think I appreciate the school. Yeah. I appreci- appreciate the college and what they do for this community. That's right. Mm-hmm. So a few weeks ago, we had one of your coworkers, Kara, on the show. Um, and we were talking about, like, when I grew up here, um, the YMCA was primarily up in... Uh, Thickwood attached to the Westwood High School, Mm -hmm. but you guys are no longer there. Mm -hmm. um, And you have a bunch of different offices throughout town, maybe the daycare or potentially where you work as well. Where is your uh, program and yourself um, located here in Fort McMurray if people wanted to come and physically see you and utilize your services? That's a great question. Actually, we are located right across from you. Okay. At the Harding Street building in the basement. Okay. Okay. And as I mentioned before, my program is housed within the community uh, housing and initiative mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. programs within the YMCA. Right. It's the foreign workers program. We yeah. serve 
again I'll repeat the demographic. Yeah, definitely. I missed that yeah. in, the, in the beginning. We serve foreign nationals who are eligible to work in Canada mm -hmm. under the temporary foreign workers program, which is like the closed work uh, work permit. Yeah. Then we serve international mobility program, which is open work permit. Right. We serve the post graduation work permit holders who are students that graduate like from a designated learning institution in Canada. Right. For example, Kiano. Yeah. Yeah. So once they are done with their studies because they come in as international students, then they get <coughs> the post graduation work permit and right. they, they are served by our program. Yeah. We also serve naturalized Canadian citizens, mm -hmm. refugee claimants, and yeah. also most recently mm. Ukrainian nationals who oh, are okay. coming under the C U A E T program. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. very cool. So my background before <coughs> doing this was human resources. So I used to have to like bring in a lot of foreign employees using NAFTA letter agreements and LMOs and so on and so forth. Um, so I know it's an expensive and confusing process. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that you would be able to like help people with or point them in the right direction if they were trying to like get their citizenship or their work permits? Or are you working with citizen or people that already have those in place thank you for that question i am working with people who are already in canada okay that is one of the things that we we, we like to clarify right and already the assumption is that they have their work permits yes they have status and um right. like if people need to restore those statuses mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like assume that your work permit is expiring right that's where we come in there we go okay we with those applications. there we go yeah but uh, the the uh, point of hiring foreign workers mm -hmm. or foreign nationals, we leave that to the companies. To the companies. Okay, because I that's why I wanted to clarify. Because I was just like, if anybody's watching this, that's a company, and they could utilize your <laughs> resource because that's so expensive. Yes. And takes so much time to like fill out like the LMO process and like to work with a lawyer and to work with like it's a whole thing it so is, yeah. i didn't want you to be inundated with a bunch of like hey you can save me ten thousand dollars there's like no, no 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 you have to have your work permits before you show up yes <laughs> yeah. yeah really we serve uh, the yeah. they have to be eligible right that's one of right. the um, okay the eligibility there we go and so what that means is that we come in now through the support like i need to renew my work permit right i need to like recently for the canadian uh, the naturalized Canadian citizens, yeah, yeah. like I need to apply for a passport, so right. we print off the forms for them. Right. We provide those uh, one-on-one yes. -on -one services. Right. We can provide through email, through phone, through right. walk-in, through appointments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I just yeah. needed to clarify yeah. No, that. Yeah, th that's why I ask, because like I said, it's an expensive and time consuming process so it i didn't is. want you to be inundated with those type of phone calls <laughs> yeah all right and and let me just say something here like uh because uh foreign workers come to fill labor gaps mm -hmm. in the community or in canada yeah it is a it is a whole program that is managed by the federal government right the provincial government yeah and even municipalities like ours right so for that process to happen, it has to begin from the top there. That's right. And employers have to take the initiative. That's right. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, listen, a part of the show is we have a segment called the Max City Minute. Mm -hmm. Now, before we start with the Max City Minute, usually if we're not having tech technical difficulties, we can throw an ad in there. You able to throw an ad in there? Uh, a carry ad or what do you think? No. Okay. Well, listen, Carrie from Patchouli Rose is sponsoring this. And in post, we might be able to put it in. But nonetheless, Tanner. Hit her with the Max City Minute. All righty. Question number one for you today. What is one reason you enjoy being part of the YMCA team? Uh, one of the reasons that I like being part of the YMCA is the diversity with which we work in. It's a very diverse uh, place, and it's very inclusive. I feel respected in that place. I feel... And with the responsibility I have, really, and the humility to serve humanity, I think that's why I go to work every day. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Question number two. What is one thing the YMCA does that you want more people to know they do? I would say uh, it's a very welcoming um, organization. And uh, the fact that w the employee across the board... We serve so many demographics in this community. Um, I would say 
the values of the YMCA and the mission statement really align with my values. So that's what I would say. There we go. Yeah. There we go. <coughs> Question number three. <coughs> What is one dish from Kenya you think every Canadian needs to try? Love it. <laughs> they can try ugali and nyamachoma and okay. sukumawiki. Uh, basically what that means is that uh, it's pounded corn mm -hmm. meal with roasted goat meat okay. and kale. Oh, and but kale? Yeah, and kale. It's okay. a speciality. If you Google it, it's the first thing that will come up. Okay. Yeah. Roasted goat meat. Yes. Sounds delicious. Sounds delicious. It is delicious. Okay, good question, Tanner. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, question number four. This one goes out to Elliot's sister. Okay. Uh, what is one reason you enjoy Fort McMurray more than Calgary? There you go. Mine or? No, yeah, mine. No, like, yeah. Why do you enjoy Fort McMurray more than Calgary? Okay, first of all, because it's a small community and yeah. the, the proximity to everything is yes. very easy to uh, navigate. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the biggest reasons, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. go. Yeah, we love to bash Calgary yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no offense, any of them from Calgary. I just think Fort McMurray's better. Yeah. Yeah. And it's Alicia Pierre, and feel free to move back. There's a lot of good people here. The community is just a wonderful community. Yeah. With yeah. Good people. There we go. Love it. And your final question. If you could meet one historical figure, who would you want to meet and why? Love it. In life? Y yep. Do they have to be a living or? Oh, no. They can living or dead. Any historical figure. Nice. Martin Luther King. Oh. Fantastic answer. Okay. There you go. And those have been your five questions. Nice. Nice. Tanner asks some pretty random questions sometimes. So Thank those you. are good answers. But yeah, my little sister, like like I mentioned before when we were chatting, like I'm born and raised here, right? So, and same with my sister and my brother, but they both live in Calgary. So anytime I get the opportunity to be like, hey, move back. I like to like spend more time with you. Move back to Fort That's McMurray. Awesome. We take full advantage of that. So Do they miss Fort McMurray? No. <laughs> no um alicia they, they like fort mcmurray they have no qualms with it they, yeah. they it's their where they're raised and my parents still live here so they come back and visit and i'm here and my wife and my kids are here my kid keegan is here too so they come back often but alicia and alistair both wanted to live like in a city okay and so like they they like living in in the bigger city so they, they, kind of there's no pull but with alicia she has like a, a daughter lily Okay. And I'm like, I want to see my niece more often. So, like, come back yeah, here. Yeah. So, anyways, Tanner likes to, like, sneak in jabs with me every once in a while of, like, oh. hey, Alicia, come back here. I so, mean, it's not like everybody wants her to or anything. That's right. That's right. So, in regards to your family, your sister lives in Calgary. That's why you first came. Yeah. Did she end up coming to Fort McMurray or is she still there as well? She's never been to Fort McMurray. She's never been? No. Why not? How you can't convince her to come for for a visit? I can't. Oh, that's okay. Does your sister like winter or is she a summer person? I would say, to be honest, I think because of what people hear yeah. about Fort McMurray, that's it right. puts a lot of people off. Like, oh, I'm not coming to the cold. I'm yeah. not coming. Yeah. Oh, so, so she, you, you have the high a uh, higher likelihood of getting her in here in the summer then. Yes. Um, she's a very busy person though, because she works in healthcare. Oh, okay. And like during COVID, though. Oh, yeah, she was very essential. So yeah, 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 yeah. Big shout out to her. Yeah, big Thank shout you. out. Thank you very much for all of the work you did during that and what you continue to do. So she's never been to Fort McMurray though. No. Oh, jeez. She is Miss now. Virtually, yes. Virtually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to get her up here. I love yeah. Fort McMurray and hence the Max City Morning Show. How can we do that? Do you have an idea? Oh, I've got lots of ideas how to do that. Like, we'll just go kidnap her. Yeah, <laughs> no, I won't easy. be part of that. Yeah, yeah. You I want to keep a clean criminal record. Yeah, yeah. We'll go kidnap her. I'll they're go called, down. They're <laughs> called consensual kidnappings. That's right. It's because we go down there. We don't take anybody without out of their will we're just very good at convincing people to oh, come with us that's yeah. good we, that would work yeah. we have literally just pulled like a kidnapping job on one of tanner's friends really? where like he was talking about coming to fort mcmurray wanting to move back and so we saw the opening there and so we made it very easy for him to move back in regards to 
uh, we were able to get a moving company to move him. So it doesn't cost him anything to move up here. So, and then we were able to find him some employment. So we're like, hey, listen, it wouldn't cost you any money to move back. That's cool. And we got some work for you uh, as well. And so he's just like, you know what? <sighs> you convinced me. That's I'll good. come back. So That's maybe we can like. Do the same? We do the same. We'll be creative with getting your sister up here. I doubt she would move here, but she would visit. Yeah. You know what we could That's do? That's the first domino. Yeah. That's the first domino. You just get them to visit. Be like, hey, I don't want you to see how pretty it is. And then they go, oh, it's not so bad. I'll come back. And then that seed is planted. Yeah. Yes. So we got to think of an event. An event that's like. Uh, I bet the Mac calendar will have something. Yeah, the Mac yeah. calendar here might. So some event in the summer that she'd be interested in. And then say. Hey, listen, I know the organizer has some VIP tickets. <laughs> and so she could come up for rib. Some of the bands get behind the scenes. And so. Let's plant that seed. Yeah, so that there we like go. All right. Time. We're. Talk about this a little bit more. Yes. And we'll try to get her to come up for a visit and rib. Catalyst for her coming up. That sounds like cool. Plan. All right. Well, let's flown. Mm -hmm. But before I cut you loose, everybody gets a shameless shout out or the camera delights. Have fun. Uh, my organization, the YMCA, there uh, we go. for giving me a what I do every day yeah. for my wonderful supervisors and uh, the colleagues that I work with. Mm -hmm. Um, they make a really good team and they make the, the place warm, mm -hmm. for not only for me, but for clients that come in. Right. And also to my wonderful family, my husband, my children. Yes. There we go. That's a good them. shout out. There yeah. you go. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for coming. Really do appreciate your time today. And please feel free to come back again and again and again. Thank you very much. Awesome. Yeah. For McMurray Wood Buffalo, the rest of the world, that's been another episode of the Max City Morning Show. Thank you very much for tuning in. It, me, from the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate it. Big shout out to our title sponsor, Noral Toyota, as well as Carrie from Patchouli Rose. Thank you very much for both of your ongoing support. We really do appreciate it. I hope everybody at home is having a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.